Hi there, uh, my name is Robbie, and uh, I'm just going to be responding to the uh, video in question, um, the Origin of Life video that I've seen. I've actually posted on it uh, a few times, um, but I figured I needed to be a little more in depth uh, in this. Um, I'm not really able to get my uh, point across too well on those little block uh, uh, message boards things, and besides, they're kind of difficult to. Uh, uh, really have a conversation with somebody when you're on these little tiny blocks. Um, they start off the video uh, very interestingly where they um, try to debunk the uh, statement uh, why can't um, um, paintings paint themselves? And they say, well, it's very simple. Um, and because uh, the paintings are made of chemicals that can't replicate themselves and then quickly move on because that really makes no sense at all. <laughs> because uh, essentially, replication does not make a painting. Uh, it, it, it just doesn't. I mean, if you have a bunch of chemicals that can replicate, and they're all different colors, and they're all replicating, essentially you're going to end up with one color. Uh, because they're all going to intermingle with each other. They'll all be replicating, and you will have one blank canvas. Uh, probably black because if you intermix all the uh, colors, uh, you know, into one, it's going to end up being a very dark color, very close to black. I, I think it would, it would end up being black. Uh, you can do experiment, get some crayons, draw right on, right on, <laughs> you know, all the different colors, and you know, just write on e every one on e on each other and see what color it is. It's really not important. the The main thing is that. It's not going to be a painting. You won't get uh, geometric shapes. Uh, you sh certainly won't get uh, anything that's going to resemble uh, a landscape, uh, you know, uh, or you know, clouds and trees, or anything that's going to resemble a, um, a paint. What we would call a painting. Um, so, if um, replication um, is not the answer on why paintings can't paint themselves, what it, what is the answer? Um, and that's just the answer is because chemicals um, can't make a conscious decision. Um, chemicals um, have no consciousness, so they really don't see a difference on where they need to place a color. In fact, they are, there is no difference to them. They just go if if they could re replicate, they would just go wherever they go. Um, it, you, it takes a conscious mind to realize that there's a choice. On this part of the canvas, I can place blue or red. Blue or red. That's its choice. Choice. I'm going to put blue there. And then I'll move on to this one and I'll continue to make blue until this part. And then, do I want to continue making blue? Blue or white? Blue or white? I'm going to make white because I want to make clouds. And now you can continue making choices and an infinite amount of choices until you create a picture. Um, chemicals can't do that. Again, you know, so um, keeping along that thinking, um, you can assume that the uh, primordial soup theory um, really doesn't hold much <laughs> weight here. I mean, uh, because you have to have some type of conscious mind in order to um, have a code. Uh, I mean, that's what DNA is. DNA is a code code of information, um, and, um, and a code essentially is, um, in fact, let me, let me read this, because it's really a um, um, pretty good definition of it. A code is defined as uh, communication between an encoder uh, and a decoder using agreed upon symbols, uh, and that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with uh, uh, DNA, we're dealing with a code. It's able to send information, uh, and you know, and from there you can carry out a task, um, and, and you know, the, you can carry on, uh, and that's that's basically the basis of life is is um, information. Well, a code has to be created by a conscious um, being. I mean, um, language and computer languages are very similar to the DNA code. Um, and, uh, you know, so, I mean, it, it's, you know, you can start thinking of it that way. And um, uh, so, let's do an experiment. You know, we'll, uh, let me just throw up 
some letters on the screen. Now if I throw up uh, some letters and draw them together, I can be real happy. I could say, uh, I made a sentence. You know, it's debatable, but uh, I made a sentence right there. Um, but essentially the information is not really there because there's not really a code, you can't really understand it. Uh, so it's um, it's going to be difficult for you to carry out any task. You just look at it and go, okay, whatever. Now, let's take all those uh, letters, uh, same letters, same chemicals. <laughs> let's you know assume the same chemicals for life. Uh, take those letters and reform them. And now we'll post them up again. Now you can see exactly what you need to do, and because uh, <laughs> you can understand the code. So now you can understand the information, take that information, and carry out a task. And um, that's my thinking. It's not really new, uh, but it's uh, my belief on, um, on what is life and uh, um, my thinking on it. And I uh, appreciate uh, the time. And uh, if anybody else has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them as uh, best I can.